What's going on, guys? Now, it's no secret that having reptiles, especially more than one reptile, is an expensive hobby, especially when you go and you pick out the most expensive type of reptile, monitors, it can get expensive very, very fast. But lucky for you guys, I've been in this game just a little bit of time, and I have come up with some tricks, and I've learned some tricks from other people on how to save money when keeping reptiles. So if you want to know how you can save money when you keep monitors, keep watching this video. Appreciate you guys for tuning in today. If you guys are wondering why I sound and why I look like this, it's because yes, I've been sick. I'm finally getting over it now, but I wanted to make this video for you guys. So the first thing is to never use reptile branded products. Now here I'm talking about lights, food bowls, decorations, fake plants, reptile branded substrate. There's no need to use any of that. Most of the time, the reptile branded stuff and the generic stuff is going to be either made by the same people or it's even going to be worse quality than stuff you might find at a grocery store at Home Depot, Walmart, something like that. For instance, lighting. So for heating my monitors and all my animals, I use halogen floodlights. These work better than anything else. They get nice and hot. They distribute the heat perfectly. Unfortunately, with the whole banning of them, reptile halogen floodlights are the only ones that are going to be available pretty soon. I can get a box of halogen floodlights for about 12 bucks for two bulbs or i could go spend 60 dollars on a reptile light that's not even going to heat it as effectively if you really want fake plants don't go buy the reptile fake plants buy some from a craft store a lot of the times the only difference is that the reptile products and the craft store products are going to have different labels one of them is going to be five bucks the other one is going to be 25 bucks with a reptile sticker just to appeal to you the consumer don't get caught up with this i mean you can spend 25 dollars on a fake rock bowl or you can go to your local grocery store and buy a clear Tupperware for a water dish or a food dish for two bucks. The next one is going to be breeding your own feeders. This can be with things like insects or even rodents or birds. I myself have a dubia colony. Seven months ago, I spent 50, 60 bucks and bought five or 600 dubias and I have not had to buy any insects since. Now, of course, I do supplement with crickets and, and other types of insects. Yes, but all my collection eats dubias, guys, and they could survive off that fully. See that? He will bite me. He will bite me. <clears throat> He's gotten big. Look at the size of him. <clears throat> Compared to... I mean, like, he's... He's got some good size on him now. even gotten so much that i have to split them out into two bins now you can do the same thing with even something like superworms grab a couple superworms turn them into beetles instead of having to pay money every week for food you can breed it yourself by just having to buy the gut loading foods like carrots and apples which are so much cheaper i was spending like 20 30 bucks a week with crickets and now that expense is gone i only have to buy them when i supplement for monitor keepers you might even find value if you have a large collection in breeding something like quail. I know a lot of the bigger dudes that have a lot of animals will actually breed quail. And it's pretty cost effective instead of having to buy them every so often. You just have your own colony, you have to buy the quail feed, and then it takes a little bit of maintenance to keep up. You'll save so much money. I wanted to grab them just to show you guys. Let's see if he's down to eat. Oh yeah. Even after being handled, he still hand feeds. This guy's a beast. I cannot wait to get him a, a little girlfriend, man. Get some baby pabards. It's going to be so hard to not want to keep all of them. These guys are just so cute, man. His bites hurt, man. He's bitten me a couple times. There we go. That's good. We keep him, keep him nice and lean. Next up on the list is buying second hand. You do not need to buy everything new. When you're keeping monitors, you're gonna be upgrading your enclosures very frequently. A lot of monitors get very big. All monitors grow very, very fast. There will be two or three enclosure upgrades that are needed. Instead of buying a shiny new enclosure every time, you can buy a used one for half the price. Looking on places like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, going to your local reptile store, even making deals with people at expos is a good way to find these secondhand products. This doesn't even have to be with just enclosures. It can be with lighting fixtures. It can be with 
um, cage decor, logs, wood, rocks. It's like buying a new car versus a used car. It's like, yeah, you can buy a new car and you know exactly what you're getting and you'll be able to use that new car for 20 years or you can pay less money, still know what you're getting, but you might be able to only use that car for 15 years, but you spend way less money on it. In most cases, you can still use the used car for a long time. Next is building your own enclosures. Building your own enclosures is the way to go with monitors. Large enclosures can cost thousands of dollars for pre-made enclosures. A lot of the times, a lot of these larger monitors can't even fit into most sizes that companies offer. A lot of times companies for PVC or wood enclosures will only offer up to an eight x four x four. That's not gonna be suitable for things like a water monitor, crocodile monitor, any of those large, large animals, you're not gonna be able to put them in eight x four x four. So you're gonna have to build anyway. Of course you can, again, go spend 3,000 bucks on a custom enclosure. You know, they look very, very nice. If you wanna do that, I'm not knocking you personally. Me personally, we build all of our enclosures and you can do it for a fraction of the price and at the same time, customize that enclosure to exactly how you want it. Put the doors where you want, put the lighting fixtures where you want, seal it how you want. Use hardware stores, guys. Places like Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that are gonna be your best friend. Lumber yards, make relationships with those people. Again, especially if you have a larger collection, which most of you guys that are watching this video probably do have more than one monitor or more than one reptile. Now here's the last tip I have for you guys. Now this is, if you don't listen to anything else I say in this video, listen to this, please dig your own substrate. Guys, do not go buy reptile branded substrate. Why spend $25 on a half a pound bag of reptile dirt, as they call it, when you can go out into nature and dig it for free? Now, I understand, guys, you don't want to give your reptiles parasites or, or, or any of that stuff, any external chemicals. I'm not saying go behind the, the gas station and get it. No, go to a place that's, that's serene, that has no chemicals, no runoff, next to a creek, next to a river those are the best places that i found get your lowest buckets get your car get your truck and dig some substrate man it is going to save you so much money the amount of substrate that monitors need to be able to thermoregulate to dig to nest to get humidity gradients you're gonna cost yourself three arms and ten legs if you try and buy reptile dirt if you really really cannot dig your own dirt which i would find any way to make sure you can then go to home depot buy bags of fill dirt and bags of play sand and mix that together for your substrate it's going to be much cheaper than the reptile stuff not as good as the free stuff but you know it's still saving money if you want to keep your animal completely sterile the moment you introduce something into that animal's environment that it has no immunity built up towards it's gonna crash. Guys, it's not good to keep your animals totally sterile. I know that's that's been a big thing the past like 10, 12 years. Make sure you bake every log, make sure you you wash your leaves, wash your dirt. Guys, I'm telling you that's not the way to go. And that's, that's probably opposite of what a lot of you guys have heard or know. It's even healthy to have a small amount of parasites in your monitors, in your animals. Guys, we have small amounts of parasites in us and we are completely fine. They need to have immune systems. They need to have that built up. Also, this fresh substrate from outside is gonna give them so many smells, all this stimulation. Same thing with leaf litter, guys. Go get leaf litter from outside, throw it in your enclosures. I just did that with my monitors. They're having a ball digging through it. I don't want to bite my hand. You get super excited. But, you know, like, okay, relax, my guy, relax. What you so uptight for right now, man? Relax. Relax, buddy. This man always wants to eat, but gotta keep him nice and lean. Look at that. If you have city maintenance around, go get some logs that they chop down and throw them in. I don't know if you guys seen this branch that I put in here, but put this big log in here that he likes to climb around on. This is all the leaves and stuff. Look at this. Straight forest floor. But please dig your own dirt that's that's the best way that's my best tip there you guys go those are my tips for saving money when you're keeping monitors or, or other reptiles guys this doesn't have to just be for monitors if you have a snake you have geckos anything you can use some of these tips guys and it'll still save you money and with that save money you can go to the first thing in my description and sign up for the patreon if, if you if you would like to support the channel in that type of way i appreciate everyone who's over there on the patreon guys i'm not I'm not forcing you to go sign up for it but it is a great way to help support the channel support what we're doing over here appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching this video and i'll see you in the next one